I say you forgot about social media. You forgot that people have family members in Africa that are also living in America. You forgot about those. And unless you give them fake names. But if they have your real name, it's easy to track you down. Because all, you gotta, all it takes for somebody to know, it have a, a causing a friend or somebody on social media, send them an email and say this, help me find this so and so, this is what he did to me. It's only a matter of time, you know, because you guys have made so much enemies in America against the black women. They will be glad to jump on that band welcome to help those women in Africa that you left pregnant to find you and have you to pay up. Listen to the video for yourself. And give a hand of matrimony, or you portray like you are, and come to find out that you're not Muslim, or that you are not serious about connecting, and won't she becoming your wife? Your days will be numbered. Yes. You see this water out here? As I'm told, sometimes to handle situations in certain countries of Africa, they'll just make you fish bait. Now, you take that whatever you, the way you want to take it. But I'm saying, we got to go ahead and start to think about when we're going over to these countries, you can bring your game with you, but I guarantee you the game will be played against you. Yeah. Now, here's the other thing, family, because, you know, grown folk, grown adults is going to do what they do. I'm just trying to send a message across across the bow. Like that, didn't you? And when I'm shooting this message across the bow, if you know somebody who is misbehaving and all and really, you know, are taking advantage of people, I would sit them aside and say, yo, what's up, man? Because I've been told that some of these guys are married. And they're lying about their marital status. And so some are getting caught. And now the locals are starting to speak and starting to talk to one another. Especially in Tanzania. And they're taking note. And before this get out of hand, I hope that you share this with somebody that you know and let them know. The, the word is out on the street. Gambia, Tanzania. That the, the locals have an eye out for you. Now, there again, like I said, why aren't they doing this with the Europeans? I don't know, but maybe because of the fact that we are portraying ourselves to be brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. but then we're acting just like the colonizer. Thank you. Thank you very much, my brother. Because that's always the quickest defense. All the European did it, the white men did it to the women in Africa, the Chinese, the Indians. But the white men, the Chinese, and Indian, did not come to portray themselves as, oh, that's, you are one of us. You are our brothers. You are our sister. Oh, we are your long lost cousins. We have come from America now to come together so we can build a continent together. They didn't come with that mindset. So if the colonizers and the white men did that to the African women, we expect that because what? They came as the enemy. We knew who they were. Uh -huh. But you're not coming and mm -hmm. camouflaging and pretending to be something that you're not. You guys. Somebody should get this video and share with all the Pookies and all the Rares and all the Passport Brothers. Y'all playing with fire and a man cannot play with fire and don't get burned. People in Africa talk. When the locals start talking, people have access to social media, to phone, to Zoom, to WhatsApp. And it's only a matter of time for those young women who you have taken advantage of in Africa, any parts of Africa, left them pregnant, promised them they were and left them there and then come here. You better pray that they don't have any relative, no uncle, cousin, brother, sister. Because if they just have one connection in America, they will hunt you down. They will find you. It won't be nice. So please, you guys, don't go to Africa and take advantage of those poor people because they will come for you. Africans. Uh, for adults. Oh, yeah. Something you would expect out of a little young 20-year-old. But the names and the, and the, the, the pictures that are being shown to me, these look like brothers in their 40s. Check my video at the end of this where I will show you the relationships that go on in Africa and listen to what I'm sharing with you. From my experience when I was stationed over in these different countries, how you could be set up and you could be taken advantage of yourself. We have to... We 
got to free ourselves. We have to go to a cleansing. We have to detox our spirits. We have to remove these old behaviors that we're so accustomed to doing against each other here in, in damn Erica. You know, we do these games and tricks. This is why the, the relationships are faltering so bad in this country because of the fact that we have a disregard for one another. We've lost our moral value. We've lost, lost our ethic compasses. We've lost our spiritual our I'm a loss for words, y'all. Like I said, every adult live their life however they wish way they want to. But your days are numbered. And I'm here to tell you, I've already been notified. And so it behooves one to listen to the message I am sending with love to each and every one of you all to include the women so black american men the ones who don't have any respect and dignity for themselves and for the women in america you have ran through the women in america knocked them up left them pregnant they are broken hearted broke busted disgusted financially now you're going to africa to do the same thing you have damaged the women here, so now you're going to Africa to damage the women there. You have no morals, no value, no heart. You are cold and heartless. And to make matter worse, you are ignorant and stupid on top of that. A man that head is empty, his heart is dark and cold, and he has no moral values and compass. He's a danger not only to society, he's a danger to himself. People like that should be locked up and put away somewhere until they can get healed. Mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially, sexually, many of the black men would they call themselves passport brothers, they are damaged and they are broken and they need help. And they think because they go to DR, Dominican Republic, or they go to Africa, go somewhere because they sleep with a few women, and they come and put on social media, they slept with Dave. This you, is that what makes you a man? You have no sense. They, like the man said, the woman you're sleeping with, you don't even know what kind of disease they carry. So that's why I say in one of my videos, passport brothers. They are nothing more than men who are collecting and spreading STDs. You see, the guys just said it. And I said in one of my videos, they came there to insult me. This is not a matter of insult. You can insult me all you want, but the truth still remains. Grow up. Mature. Man up. But most, most importantly, you need healing. You need some deep healing and deep cleansing. You need mental, emotional healing, cleansing, and deliverance. At the molecular, cellular, DNA, atomic level, the black race globally will need healing. But especially the focus on these passport, brother Pookie and Riri, they are some of the most damaged products I've ever seen. They need some of the quickest and deepest healing. They need to be healed at the molecular, cellular level. You need healing and cleansing. Before you even look to go get a woman, you need to work on yourself and clean up yourself your act, your mind. Some of them, when they, the comments they leave on your video is so grammatically wrong. You wonder, do they even have sense? Like we say in Africa, empty barrels make the loudest noise. Most of the men are empty in the head, empty in the heart, and empty in the pocket. This is Dagnet, the African blogger. Please subscribe. I'm on YouTube. I'm on TikTok. Thank you very much.